I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to divide fractions. The strategy which we are going to practice here is write equivalent fractions with common denominator and then divide numerators. We have two examples. The first one here is 4 over 7 divided by 2 over 7. The second one is 2 over 3 divided by 1 over 6. Now let's look into part A which is 4 over 7 divided by 2 over 7. Here we have common denominator of 7. So write equivalent fractions with common denominator. Uh, it's already there with us and therefore we'll find the answer by dividing the numerators. So the answer for this will be 4 divided by 2 and that is 4 divided by 2 is 2. right? So that is how you can get straight answer from this particular question. The concept here is that 4 over 7 is let us say we have a box here and divide it into 7 equal parts. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is 6th one more right so seven equal parts and then select four of them so we have selected four one two three and four we have to divide this by two over seven we have to divide this by two over seven so we'll make another box exactly similar to one which we have just drawn so let me uh, divide it into seven equal parts so we could also divide row wise correct so anyway it's one of the same thing we can divide it in vertical lines also so we have one two three four five six and seven right now when we say two out of seven then let me share two of them This is kind of area model. Now, when, our, when we are dividing a fraction by the other, we are trying to answer one question. That is, how many 2 sevenths or 2 over 7, 2 sevenths can fit into 4 sevenths? This is what we are trying to answer, right? So, that is the question which you need to ask. So, clearly, you can say, we have a group of two here, right? We have this group of two. So we can fit one here, correct? And the other one there. So two, right? So two can fit into, and we get two as our answer, and that is what the result is. So that is a visual explanation of what we just did. And sometimes we call this as area model. Okay, so we have learned two strategies here. One, working with common denominators and how it relates to area model, right? Now let's use the second one to solve or divide fractions using common denominator. Now in question number B, 2 over 3 divided by 1 over 6. Denominators are not same. Lowest common denominator can be 6. So what we can do is we can multiply 2 over 3 by 2, right? So let's times it by 2, both numerator and denominator. So we get 4 divided by 6 divided by 1 over 6. So 4 over 6 divided by 1 over 6 is equivalent fraction with common denominator, correct? Now the result is same as division of numerators, 4 divided by 1. So the answer is 4, correct? Therefore, 2 over 3 divided by 1 over 6 is equal to 4. Now as an exercise, I would like you to sketch area model and verify that the answer is indeed 4. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. Thanks for visiting my site. 
you can share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best. Yeah, well,